We're here with Mark Platts, Point Park University women's soccer head coach. Um, coach Platts, as we enter into the uh, preseason training for 2011, what are some of your general thoughts for the team uh, in this coming year? Uh, very excited about what we uh, what we're bringing in from an incoming freshman class. Uh, we've got a couple of transfers as well, uh, but also the fact that we've got so many returning players. Uh, we graduated five last year. Uh, we had one girl transfer due to a, an academic major change, um, but the 16 players that could have come back this year have come back. Um, and they all worked hard in the spring. We have uh, good excitement after our spring games that we played. We played well in uh, a couple of our uh, later games, and I think we're going to have a very competitive squad that can compete in the AMC. Okay, Coach, you were hired um, shortly before the 2010 season, May 2010, so this is your second year with the Pioneers. Uh, it's been a, a little over a year uh, that your program has been implemented. Uh, how have the ladies responded over the last 14, 16 months or so, and how has that helped you? You know, How far ahead are you August 2011 as opposed to August 2010? I think the biggest thing for me is I know the returning players and the players that I've recruited, I know what they are, who they are. Um, coming into last year, I had no idea who was a defender, who was a forward, who was right-footed, who was left-footed. So pre-season consisted of two or three days just of learning my team. This year, I think I have the best understanding of what players we have in the program, uh, where our strength in depth is, how many forwards I can rotate, how many midfielders, how many defenders. Uh, so I would say we're a good three or four days ahead in pre-season just because I don't need to learn any of the players and, and where they're at. You were 4-13 and 13 last year in your first year with the Pioneers. Um, like you said, you have a lot of returners, 7 of 11 starters. But when, that, when the dust settled of that 4-13 and 13 year last year, what did you tell the ladies as far as, you know, was, how did you quantify things? Like, was it a good season? Was, uh, you know, what were the things that you stressed after it? Right. It was, it was a, a hard year to, to get through in the end. Uh, we had one game cancelled. We should have had an 18-game schedule. Um, but I think there was a couple of games in there that we felt, even though we are a lower team in the AMC, I think we could have won uh, games that we might have lost by a goal or two. But there are also games that we played against very tough teams that we lost in close, close games. So we have to be realistic. In 2009, I think they only won two games. So last year we won four. So we did double our winning total from the previous year. And we played Mount Vernon and Damon. Um, Walsh very closely which in the past have been games that have been kind of one-sided to the opposition I think we've shown that we can compete with the better teams in the conference yeah exactly you were competitive in many games uh, you lost five games by one goal um, there were ten games where you gave up two goals or less so you're you know right in the middle of these games but how do you get over the hump and turn some of those close games into you know ties or wins you know that sort of thing preparation I think I will throw my hat and say I could have been responsible for two of the losses. Uh, we lost in overtime to Damon and to Notre Dame, but I've never been a coach that's settled for a tie. Uh, in both those overtime games, we were going for the win. I didn't want to just try and pack 11 players behind the ball against two teams that were good teams because eventually they would have scored. So we went out to win those games, and unfortunately we were on the losing end both times. So I think preparation... Um, we only came, I think, into real soccer fitness about halfway through the season, so I hope that our preparation and fitness um, being a lot harder this summer will help us in those close games late on where we where the team gets the late goal rather than concedes a late goal. Um, and the team unity, I think we've got a lot of new players to the program which should bring eagerness and anticipation from returning players because they know they're such good players coming in and I think we've got players from all over the world that are going to bring their unique soccer experience to uh, a growing program. Okay, very good. Whenever you take the different levels, um, you know, defense, midfield, uh, up front, forwards, what are the, the areas that are strengths and what are areas that are weaknesses and if you could just uh, take us across the field in that manner. I think that's on me as the coach to decide on what formation that we're going to play. Um, we can have an abundance of a certain type of position um, and I think there's a way we can create a formation around the players that we have. I'm confident that we have strength in depth at all positions. Uh, we have at least five that we can rotate in a strongly forward position. We have 
plentiful midfielders, we have returning defenders as well as fresh defenders and we have two returning goalkeepers as well as an incoming freshman goalkeeper. So I wouldn't say that I see one area as having a huge strength strategically from a positional standpoint. I just think we're in a much better position this year from the players that we have versus where we were last year. To give us some insight to the uh, kind of soccer that you coach to or teach, um, what sort of uh, scheme or style do you subscribe to? Uh, tactical, speed, positional? Like what, what sort of things do you emphasize? For me, it's possession. Um, we, we will be working a lot more on technical things this year in practice um, because I, if we look at our goal scoring record, it wasn't great. We had a couple of players who scored five, six goals on the season, which was great personally, but it didn't translate into wins. Uh, I don't think we possess the ball well under pressure, which then goes back to technique. If we can get our technique right, we can possess the ball a lot more. Um, and I think we've got the players to do that this year. Uh, we've got some very, very skillful returning players as well as new additions, and I think if we can possess the game a lot better, we'll be more successful in the wins and loss column. We have a, uh, for those who might not know, there's a new look to the AMC. There was um, uh, a lot of teams that departed uh, out of the conference, so uh, it's, it's a new look around the league. How do you see Point Park shaping up in the AMC standings uh, this coming year? Right. And this is something I want to educate the team on as well coming into this season because I don't even know if the players will purely understand it yet. But we're at seven teams in a conference. From what I know right now, four, the top four teams make playoffs. Uh, with Walsh being in the transition to Division 2, they don't qualify for playoffs. So if Walsh occupies one of those top four team spots, then it goes to the top five. Um, Fish has just joined the, the conference. Um, we don't know much about them other than looking at their website, and I hesitate to predict what results are going to be based on last year's website. So I think we've got a chance of being one of those top four teams. Um, I don't see any reason why playoffs shouldn't be our number one goal for this year. Are there a couple of teams that you have your eye on as um, some of the more uh, the favorites you could say, like Houghton and Roberts Wesleyan are still there, and they're, they're always good? Houghton's dominated our conference for the last 15 years. Uh, I think last year might have been the first year in maybe 10 or 15 that not won it. Um, they still ended up making it to the national championship through the playoff system, but the outright winners were, I believe, Robert Wesley in last year for the women. Um, so them and Roberts would be the two teams to beat. They, uh, When we played them, they, they played well against us and beat us quite comfortably. Um, Carlo, our local rival, I see us competing with them. Fisher, based off of what I've read about them, we should compete with them. Um, and we played Damon and Walsh close in the games that we played. Uh, what will be nice is we get to play each team home and away, so we'll be able to play a team first. Uh, if we're unsuccessful in that game, we'll be able to hopefully counteract some of their strengths in the second game. Okay, very good. Coach, one last question for you. Uh, to make sure that you're among those top four in the AMC when the season standings are complete, what are one or two things that your team has to do uh, to make sure you're there where you want to be at the end of the year? Uh, I would say execute under pressure which is something we're going to have to work on in, in pre-season. Um, it's turning the, I won't say it's luck, because I think luck is a result of preparation. Um, getting the last minute goal or the overtime win versus losing that overtime win. Uh, I think we're going to have to bond well as a team. Having 13 new players to the team is going to be an interesting pre-season just from new personalities. And uh, if we're all on the same page and I can do my job as a coach and get the team playing the formation the way I'm hopefully uh, going to utilize the formation that I think will we'll be successful. Uh, there's no reason we shouldn't be. Okay, very good. This has been Point Park University women's soccer head coach Mark Platts. Um, Pioneers going into year number two under Coach Platts, and they have seven of the 11 starters returning from last year. Coach, thanks for taking the time, and good luck this coming season. Thank you.